In this video, we're going to talk about why the least squares regression is called that way. So deviation of the slope and y intercept. Let's talk about how these formulas came about, but in particular, why is it called least squares regression? So all regression lines have an x bar, y bar. x bar meaning the slope of x and y bar meaning the slope of y. And you can draw a vertical and horizontal line representing the x bar and y bar. And let's say that um, in this demonstration we had um, some points, right? First point over here, and then we have a second point and third point. And this point we'll say it's not part of the data but if we want to draw the best straight line it's going to have to be okay so let's say you draw a line right and this line um, is a straight line and the line that you're going to draw uh, or the line that best fit these points it needs to go through this pivot point. It's almost kind of like the balance point when you talk about the mean. Okay, so you have this line that almost fits these points. The question is, is this the best line you can draw? Well, it turns out that you can measure um, this thing called a, a residual EI or epsilon i. And this epsilon has a distance and it can be measured by yi minus y hat. This distance right here can be measured. And so where y is the actual y value and y hat is the predicted value. Uh, so in addition we can sum also all the epsilons and gives you zero. So remember, this point over here is y hat. And so when you subtract y hat from yi, which is any of these values right here or here, then you get an epsilon. And when you add up all the epsilons, it gives you zero. The point here is that you have these points, right? And to draw the best straight line, the line has to go through this pivot point. Question is, is this the best line? Well, it turns out to determine the slope and the y-intercept of the predicted line, which is y hat equals ax plus b. Remember, y hat tells us that it's a predicted value based on data. And ax plus b, which is over here, a is the slope and b is the y-intercept in this case. So epsilon, all these lines here, must be squared, summed, and minimized to find the best line. So it turns out that when you go through the process of minimizing the equations, you take these residuals, you do some fancy math, and the first things, one of the first things that you do is you square these values, and that's represented here. And then what happens is through the the when you minimize these formulas through calculus, you're what you're doing is you're adjusting the line somehow. And you can see my primitive hand here. <laughs> you're adjusting the line going up or down based on the on the math. And so somewhere, somehow, through the math you can minimize the boxes. The, the um, minimization comes through the math, of course. And this is why the process is called least squares regression. Because you're creating boxes, the smallest boxes, the smallest boxes that you can create and still have a straight line through the pivot point. And so the smallest possible squares. That's pretty amazing if you think about it. And so this is um, 
linear regression as well. So I hope you had fun with that.